hi everyone and welcome back so in the last video we were talking about uh, git branching strategies when multiple developers are working on the same uh, feature or uh, multiple features then how you can collaborate uh, efficiently by adopting these different branching strategies okay so i was using this merge merge conflict rebase rebase continue and all these features so i wanted to just talk about these things first like let's say you have a doubt how we are doing merge and how what is the difference between merge and rebase let's clear that doubt so i just want to show you simple demo let's say what do we have is we have this simple branch the this is developer a is working here and that is developer b is working there okay so what this developer is doing is, is this developer created a feature branch and the feature branch name is developer a okay and he actually removed these lines and he added couple of more okay he added this feature like he will just do git status git add git commit minus m new changes from a and he just push the changes to this feature branch okay and here is developer b is working he will also create a feature branch git checkout minus b from develop and i'm just saying developer b and what i will do is i will just uh, keep only the new things I'm just removing those things okay just keeping C and D get push origin okay I didn't add the commits and I need to remove this file get status get add get commit and I'm just saying changes from developer B And I will just say git push origin developer B. And we will get a conflict only if I accept the merge request from developer A and merge it. We are merging it to develop. Developer A pushed his code first. And his code is going first and merged it to develop. Now this is developer B sent his merge request with the changes. And I'm merging it to develop, right? And I should get a conflict. We got the conflict, right? Because in app.js, we did the changes, the same file changes which A has already merged. Right? This is the conflict we see. E and F, we have removed. So how can we resolve these conflicts? There are two options. Either you merge the develop branch into developer B branch resolve your conflict add a new commit and then push this developer b branch again so let's talk about the merge merge i think we have already done what we used to what we were doing there is there is a conflict against develop branch right so what i will do is i will go to develop first git checkout develop and i will think okay i need to get the latest changes from the remote git pull origin develop i got the changes and then i will go to my feature branch git checkout minus b developer b okay oh sorry what i'm doing i don't need to create a new branch i just check out there and then git merge what i'm doing develop so i'm merging develop into this and i need to accept some changes current changes and i will just add this file and then git status Okay, git commit to conclude the merge, git commit minus m, commit fix, commit merge fix, okay, git push origin developer b, right, so I actually added a new commit on top of my changes, and you can see now I, we do have two commits are there, right, so that is the additional thing which i was talking about when you do the merge you resolve the conflicts you additionally are adding a new commit message 
okay now what we are going to do is let's say uh, again we are going to develop branch and we will talk about rebase git checkout develop and here also git checkout develop branch and we will just create uh, we will just create a new two other feature branches here also take the latest develop because I merged it and now we have only these two lines okay so I see the EF okay uh, first of all I need to check out the branch to check out minus B dag A git status git add git commit changes from dev a and i will just git push origin dev a is the feature branch i will push it so this is the change i have done i will copy this and i will try to create a conflict scenario F, right so I did the changes something like this I will create a feature branch git checkout minus b dev b git status git add git commit changes from dev b and then I will just do git push origin dev b and from dev a I will merge that uh, merge request against develop so we are talking about rebase how we can just play with rebase here instead of merge so this is just a new commit new change I will merge it and when you when we merge raise a merge request from dev b there will be a conflict when I will try to merge it against develop so how can we uh, resolve these conflicts right what i can do is i was talking about rebase in earlier videos but i was suggesting rebase when you have master branch right what we were doing is we were creating a feature branch we were merging it to develop and then let's say if uh, there is some other developer whose feature has already been merged to master so it is safe to take the rebase from the master because that is approved feature already running on the production you can take that feature so that applies to the branching strategy but here we are talking about just only a develop branch so what we can do is dev b can go first uh, to the develop branch git checkout develop take the latest changes and then we do the rebase of develop branch with dev b so here git checkout dev b and then git rebase with develop i already fetched the remote latest for develop and you can see the conflicts that is expected except current changes or except your changes or except incoming changes whatever you wanted to prefer okay so what I'm saying is it, it, it will not enforce us to create a new commit it will allow us to modify the existing commit so we added first of all what we will do is we will add this and then git rebase continue so if there is any this is interactive rebase if there is any other conflict in the further commits it will show again and then we have to con uh, add it and then git rebase continue i'm able to git rebase and then git push origin dev b now let's see uh, okay i need to force force push it because on origin there is a different code because we are updating the code which is already there on the develop right so we need to force push it and now I can just see this merge request which we raised earlier so we are we I think we already have merge request I didn't get it let me just push it again get push origin we already pushed it so I will just create a new pull request dev b 
against Dolo. I mean, uh, we accepted the commits from uh, develop while doing the rebase. So obviously, there is nothing to commit. This may happen when you are accepting all the changes which are coming from the rebase. There was only one file change. So obviously, when you merge now dev to the develop, there is nothing to be merged, right? Because you accepted all the changes from develop branch. But let's say if you are not accepting, let's say accept current changes accept both the changes accept both the changes and then I already resolved the git then it's in a new commit now it's not a rebase it's totally a new commit so you need to do git commit minus m new changes git push origin The whole point is we didn't generate a, a new commit even if you, uh, you resolve it in somehow you won't be able to add a new commit it will just use the existing commit I mean you can modify the existing commits which whatever you have so you can see you don't see a new commit I mean this is a brand new commit which we just created by updating the files but while we were doing rebase there were no new commit added even we accepted all the changes coming from the develops obviously there was no change to be merged on develop branch so our demo is little bit uh, tricked here so this is fine uh, you just merge it so I mean rebase we do to keep our history clean and whenever you need to choose from the merge to rebase you always do the rebase sometimes it's hectic that you have to do rebase continue by keep adding by resolving the conflicts Finally, you can modify the commit message that this is the change you have done, but it will not introduce the new commit. So your commit history will be clean. And when you are doing a, multiple people are working on the same uh, repository, then git rebase is really helpful.